This is how to read decimal numbers. Okay, so you have to know your place value for the decimals or you can't do it. And you learn it in the fourth grade. But people forget it. You've got to know that after the point is the ten fuzz, and then the hundredth fuzz, and then the thousandth fuzz. So if you have point oh four, you say, okay, that's the ten fuzz. That must be the hundredth fuzz. That is read four hundredth fuzz. Notice they all have fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. So it's called the fug house. Everybody to the right of the point is in the thug house. So, if you want to read this number, you have to say, first you take your finger up and you cover, well, my arm, because it's big, and cover up the point and everybody to the right of it. Well, everybody to the right of the point. How do you read that number? 43. 43. So you write 43. Oh, do you know what numbers get hyphens? Yeah. There's only certain numbers. What? 21 uh, through 99. Tw 21 through 99. Only 21 through 99 gets hyphens. Nobody else. So it's 40 hyphen 3. What do you say for point? And. And. And, and you never say and unless there's a point. Shh. That's your point. Now, what's on the right side of the point? You cover this up and say, well, how do you read 625 if it was by itself? 625. Yes. So you write 620. Remember you say who's in the house? Well, who's in that house? 625. Oh, 25. That's a number between 21 and 99. So we get say hyphen 20 hyphen 5. When it's a decimal number, the last word you say is the place value of the last guy. So that's in the ten fuzz, hundred fuzz, thousand fuzz. So now I have to write that word thousand fuzz. So that's 43 and 625,000 fuzz. Let's read this one. What do you say first? Two, two, two and, and five, five ten. Ten fuzz. Sixty and five hundred fuzz. 